Okay, everyone, welcome back for another episode of Zero One Gaming Plays Jack and Daxter The Precursor Legacy. Now, last time we finished off that pesky Precursor Basin. Ooh, yellow we go. And now we've got the very fun task of going through Boggy Swamp. Boggy Swamp is a fun little area. Well, I say fun, it's certainly not. Um, but it does introduce us to Yellow Eco for the first time, which is neat. Yellow Eco being the stuff that allows you to shoot, um, kind of like key glass. If you're familiar with anything like Dragon Ball Z or anything like that, it shouldn't be a terribly difficult thing to recognize. I'm just going to shoot that. Can't get over there yet. That's actually where you finish the level. Um, but if you don't shoot it now, then we can't actually get it at the end, which is upsetting. So we're going to get all the other people we can, we can because it allows us to do some fun stuff. Well, it allows us to shoot stuff, and being being American, that's something I'm in favor of, apparently. So we go into the goggles and start shooting at some flying workers. So Yellow Eco allows us to do a couple of other things. Those metal boxes that we see all over the place, we can actually get them with Yellow Eco. We can't get them with anything else. Not even uh, Red Eco makes us strong enough to get it. Oh. Also, all of the tar in this place is apparently super deadly, as you just saw. So we're going to fly up here using the launcher. And we're going to kill some of the rats. The launcher is very kindly point you in the direction that they're going to shoot you, so which you know. It's the least they can do. So now we've got some nests we have to destroy. If you don't destroy the nests, the rat rats keep coming. guys can be a little bit difficult, but they weren't that time. That's fine. Oh, I want to go over here. So, go over here, I get this. That actually opens up a yellow eco, yellow eco lens, which I can use to blow all this stuff up. Now, you remember old Swamp Breath himself? Same with us. Talking about the dirigible, which is a great word. Uh, trying to pull up some sort of artifact here. That was one of the tethers to the dirigible. So if we get rid of those, we can get rid of the dirigible. And because it's lurkers doing it, we instantly hate it. And what he now gives us power cell. I would wager that every single one of those is going to have a power cell attached to it. I don't know why rocks need power cells, but they have them. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get some yellow leaf up and spawn. Who doesn't like to shoot energy blasts out of their fists? It's like all my Dragon Ball fan fiction. Again, these launchers are. At the moment, completely beneficial. Only beneficial. Nothing bad happens with the launchers. That may or may not change. Okay, so that's everything in that one. Pretty much the only reason to go to that one was to get a scout fly. It should be quite difficult because there's not actually any uh, map or anything. Now this one, you've got to use this yellow eco to blow up those, and then the blue eco allows you to get those precursor orbs without killing yourself. Yeah, in case you didn't know, Jack is a world-class gymnast. 
Like he's one of the finest athletes on the planet. Like genuinely, if somebody did that kind of stuff in the Olympics, they'd be they'd be like gold medal, all the sponsorship deal, they'd be set for life. He does it just because that seems to be the most sensible way to get across this mode. Look for the camera, Jack yeah, quite a lot. Did you shoot that thing? Wow. Okay. That was unproductive. It's fun. He has a lot to aim. Like a chump. So that is half of the dirigible tethers. Wow. Only two more tethers. Yep. Two more tethers. Break dancing. Sick moves, Baxter. I don't even need any more help. What am I doing? I'm wasting time. Okay, so we've done all that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these guys. I don't know what purpose they serve, but I don't like them. I don't like their stupid faces. Very least over here is a scout fly, which I am in favor of. Okay, I think that was the only reason for that entire area was that scout fly. That's fine. How did you hit me? Go and load that up. Load those up. And get on with our day. An ambush! Oh, see, I love the fact that Jack's all like calm right now. It's it's one of those moments of I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. Except for he's like 16, so I kind of doubt that he has that deeper voice. In fact, if he's any, he might even be younger than that, so his voice might still be cracking, which makes it even funnier. How? Oh. Although, to be fair, this is actually not the easiest thing to survive, because you don't have a lot of room to run around, and it, it does this weird thing of your, uh, your yellow eco runs out, but you continue with the motion, rather than do a punch forward, you do that, that little, uh, like, like you're firing out of your fist. It just means you get hurt. Now again, they haven't said power cells are attached to this, but I'm pretty sure power cells are attached to this. So let's go ahead and do this. Yep, yep, we did. We saw this last time. So we are gonna. I don't actually know if this is a time thing or if it's a you have to sort of kill a certain number of things. I'm not sure what to get. It's fairly useful. Only so useful. I think maybe we got it. A little bit. Yes. Victory. And more life. So Baxter flies in. Celebrate on the weird line things. Where did he go? Again, well done team. Okay. So this is dirigible tether number three. And we're kind of stuck in a, in a weird area. I don't have a lot of room to run around in. It's fine. Take care of the nest. There we go. Easy. Easy. What did Dexter jump off of there? 
That, uh, that seems like a dubious thing to me. Oh well, it's a, it's a fantasy game. I don't need it to make sense. I almost prefer it not to. Give me some plot holes. Okay, so we can make our way around. Punch the lurker rat. Head up here. No, we're not. We're not. Because we've got a little friend here. Now, this flip flat looks adorable. It is useful because it can break the, uh, the steel boxes. However, it handles exactly as well as you would expect a, a baby bird that you're riding on to, to handle. It's imprecise, it's a little bit painful at times, and it just none of it's it's just not very really good. Again, vehicle uh, portions of this game, not a strong suit. Might make you wonder why they chose to do almost entirely vehicle bits in the second and third game. Especially the third game, there's a lot of vehicle bits in the third game. Hold on one second, my battery's about to run out, I better put it in my computer. It's very bad of me to say, you know, forget to do that. Again, that super fun flood flood action. You literally have to use it if you want to get this power cell. There we go. So we've only got one scout fly left and one more tether and one other kind of power cell. So we're actually doing pretty well. Obviously, Swamp can be a difficult level, only because it's really easy to forget. No, oh, you have to jump. He's so excited. Well done. You missed the high five. Good work. Aren't you guys happy you saved our little flut flut friend? She may come in handy again sometime. Now, go back to the trans pad, and I'll bring her home. Well, Kara says that that flop flop might come in handy sometime. I'm dubious, personally. I don't entirely trust it, too. So now we've got to blow up those. Those are blown up fine. So we can use the blue to go to collect them without dying. Still get hits, because I'm a little bit clumsy. Be a little bit careful here. A full one. Okay. Howdy, friend. Howdy. My beautiful swamp. On these here parts, everything that doesn't sink into the mud that is. <laughs> Judging by the smell, I'd wager your bathtub sank in the mud long ago. What's a bathtub? Oh, Bob, you display a wonderful uh, appreciation for uh, those in the South. Scaring away my pet hip hog, Parley. He's been missing for now on to a coon's age. I've been putting out a favorite snack. Ornery swamp rats keep stealing them. If you keep those pesky critters away long enough, I just know Farley will smell them vittles and come back. The vittles. Oh god, I really don't. But I bet there's a power cell in it for me. Shoot all them rats. Shoot all them rats. This is. starts off pretty easy. Killer's getting away a little bit, but it's actually a fairly straightforward shooter. 
Um, don't know why they decided this game needed a first-person shooting aspect to it. For like one level, one bit of one level. I feel like they were trying to vary up the levels a little bit. Um, but there are other ways to do that, I think. That's fine, it's fine, because you know what? It's one bit. Really, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. Over thar, well, maybe if you told me where thar is, I'd be able to be a little bit more efficient at this there, uh, Boggy. Okay, is this in Boggy? I think it's in Boggy. Look, this is Boggy's stuff. Okay, so there should be only be one more wave left. So we're going to take them out. We are exterminating this entire species. Baxter's got the bloodlust going. No, 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 I can. That's going to come in really handy in later games. Well, that's a thing. Who am I? Who am I to judge the love between a man and a hip hop? That's not for me to do. I'd never do that. I'm doing it a little bit. I am judging them slightly. I just don't, I don't know why this nest is here. Feels like it shouldn't be, feels a little bit superfluous, but it's fine. So the big thing that I want to do with this yellow and go is get rid of those metal boxes. Just because I can't break those, I've got to use the, uh, I really like the different animations they gave Baxter for that. It just, they just work really well. Okay, so. Maybe one more in this area left. Isn't that exciting? All we need to do is get that last pebble. Now, I've got a bad habit of forgetting where it is, but I didn't do it this time. It's right there. Well done, team. Just I'm going to shoot that. That dirigible's going to float away. And whatever that is, we apparently don't want the lurkers to have it. So we have foiled their plans once again. Good work, Jack. Your uncle would be proud. That was a giant arm from a precursor robot. I've never seen one in such good condition. Yeah, I don't need to listen to the other Samos. I'm good. I have accomplished everything I need to in this area. Your words of encouragement mean nothing. But they're always peppered with insults. Oh, I'm gonna get another. It's fine. It's fine. I have like full health anyway. So we are just gonna. Oh, oh. There's a lot of them there. So we're gonna go back and get some yellow ego. That seems like a sensible thing to do, especially since I keep almost dying. Keep on jumping. A little triple jump you can do. Very useful. All the uh, resources. So now we've got everything from 
Boggy Swamp. Well done. So now, we're okay to go to the Lost Precursor City. We've got enough power cells to trade for the last of the Oracle's cells. I might do that before we go to the sunken city. Just because it's quick and easy and doesn't take up very much time. It gives us more time to play around in the, the lost city. It's just like saying. This area is fun the last scout fly. And we'll leave that for next time. Uh, until then, this is Trent from Zero One Gaming. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks once again for joining us for another episode of Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy Let's Play. Um, we I had a lot of fun with this. Sorry again about the audio. It should be fixed after after this episode, so we shouldn't have too many more problems. Um, as always, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.